All right, graph the system of linear inequalities in two variables. So use the graphing tool at right. So one of the ways I like to do these problems, the way these equations are set up is just by finding the x and y intercepts. And so by that, what I mean, if x is negative three here, y would be zero to actually equal this negative three. Um, and then the other way around, so I could just graph, connect the points negative three, zero, and zero, negative three uh, to be the line, and then we'll shade on one side or the other. And the second one, like if I did x of six, six minus zero would equal the six. And then if I did zero, it'd actually be negative six because zero minus negative six is six for the second one. And then the second one, y is always just up at two. The other thing that I got to remember on this one, I got this wrong one time, so I'll probably never forget, but uh, for the inequalities that have no equal to on them, they need to be dotted lines. So we'll need to make sure we're using this dotted line down here. So I get the line, line tool, make sure I'm on the dotted line. And then I'm going to, for that first one, put a point at negative three, zero. That's right there, if I can get it set there. How come I'm not getting my line tool? Negative three, zero, and zero, negative three. Oh, it's putting it in afterwards. Okay. That usually popped right up when you set your first point. And then for the next line, it's the, uh, I said six zero. So that'd be right there. And the second point at zero, negative six. There's a negative four, negative six must be right there. And the third one, we said it was a line and it's just always up at two. So set two points up here at two anywhere. And then this is, uh, use the graphing tool, graph the region that represents the, solu the correct solution. And then we're only, we're supposed to get it just in shade just once. So what we have to do now is you have to grab the paint bucket and fill in where are my solutions or where's my solution now? Because I really have like, um, a whole bunch of different regions that could be the answer. There's one out here, there's one up there, there's one here, there's one down here, right down here, or inside this triangle. So now we have to kind of think about that. Where is my solution now? So my solution, I need to be greater than the first line, negative three. Let's just check. If I put in zero, zero there, I think that was this line. So I have to be on that side because the origin zero, zero does work for there. So I have to be up above that line. And then uh, I need to be less than the second line. I would, I, would, I would guess that means this direction. But let's see if I put in zero here, is zero minus zero, that's zero is, oh, the origin works there. So that's not what I guessed wasn't right there. Zero, zero is above this line. So I gotta be up above that because zero, zero does work compared to that line. So above both of those two slanted lines and then less than two, I, that's just below this line. So I believe that if I'm looking at it right, that means I'm inside this triangle in here. So grab the paint bucket. Click in that triangle. So it fills that in and that's your final answer. So hopefully you're good on that problem. Keep at it, don't give up, you can do this.